requested to use the restroom, please only do so after the clapping and in between songs. We are really excited. This is our first winter concert since the pandemic. Your peers have worked really, really, really hard. It's an amazing show, and we're excited to share it with you all today. Thank you. Mr. Oswald, I'm the string orchestra teacher and guitar teacher. We're going to start off with the seventh grade orchestra today with a popular holiday classic called Tradition. Well, it's actually a, an arrangement off the original piece called Green Sleeves, but it's called Fantasy on Green Sleeves in this arrangement. All right, thanks. by uh, Brian Balmages, it's called Burst, and it's supposed to express a very burst of energy, a burst of energy, so that's what it's supposed to do. All right, hope you enjoy it.
Thank you. Give them, a, give them another round of applause. They played some really hard music today. The, the very first one was in 3-4, which is a very hard time signature to play in. They did a wonderful job. All right, next we're going to have the band play, 7th grade band. And so just um, be patient, they'll be up next. associated with marching bands and military bands. One feature of this driving song is that the tempo, or speed of the music, stays steady throughout. Otherwise, those marching would probably fall down. As they play, listen for the trumpet, bass, and percussion features throughout the piece.
The seventh grade band will now play Farewell at Dawn by Bruce W. Tippett. The piece tells a story about saying goodnight or it's saying goodbye to the night and greeting the new day. The music is expressive and peaceful and weaves the melody between different um, instrument parts. Just a quick reminder that inappropriate clapping is still inappropriate. Stop at the right time. Uh, if you are clapping at the wrong time, you will be removed. Do not disrupt the concert. The final selection, the final selection the eighth grade, the seventh grade band will play is The Skater's Waltz by Emil Waldteufel and arranged by John Stewart. The piece was written in 1882 and the composer was inspired by watching ice skaters in Paris and France. The piece is in 3-4 time, which means there are three beats in a measure. Please enjoy this playful, energetic song.
give one more big round of applause for our seventh grade band while we set up for the Marina Rock Band. type of culture that surrounds that type of performance. A lot of these groups are really quiet. And they're not very loud, so that's why if you clap at the wrong time, you might miss something. Um, like when you go to a loud concert, your favorite group, whatever that is, is it loud or soft? soft. It's loud, right? So actually if you clap and cheer, it's not gonna mess them up because they can't hear that over their stuff, right? They're playing so loud that they can hear where the beat is and they play really well. And it doesn't disrupt them, okay? So I'm just trying to, does that make sense to you guys? Yeah, yeah. So um, this group's a little louder than my string orchestra, but please don't clap when we're playing if you can, but if you want to sing, not too loud. Uh, that'd be great. That'd be okay. Um, we're gonna play a couple of songs that some of you might know. Uh, the first one that we're gonna start out with is, it's a song that was um, performed by Elvis Presley. It's like one of the most well-known songs that he ever played. And uh, I always forget the composer, which is terrible. I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Does anyone remember? Mike Stroller. And then uh, Big Mama Thornton played it too. Way, way back in the, blue, the days of the blues. And that's where Elvis heard it and he, he wanted to copy it, emulate it. And so we're gonna play this, it's called Hound Dog. They signed up to play guitar, not to sing, so maybe next, Next semester I can get them to sing, but I'm gonna sing it, okay? So, we're gonna play. All right. Thank you. Yeah, ain't nothing but a hound dog Riding all the time Ain't nothing but a hound dog Riding all the time Said you were high class. That was just a lie. You ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't never a hound dog, crying all the time. You ain't just for a hound dog, crying all the time. You ain't never caught a rabbit, but you never found a dime. Guitar. Ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Guitar again. Yeah, the said you was a high class. That was just a lie. This it was high class That was just a lie You ain't never caught a rabbit And you ain't no friend of mine Well, it said you was a hound dog Crying all the time you Ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time you Ain't never caught a rabbit And you ain't no friend of mine Thank you.
Thank you. All right, and then uh, in the spirit of the time of year and the culture of America, that's the way I like to think of it. You hear this a lot in the stores, you hear it in the restaurants, you hear it in, in the shopping malls. It's a very popular holiday classic written by Jose Feliciano, Flight Feliciano. And it's, do you guys know? Yeah, Feliz Navidad, yes. when we were doing distance learning. And they're still with me. 
And um, it was a small class then, and it's still a small class, but um, it's a very quiet class, so yeah, keep the noise level down so you can hear all the good stuff that comes out of us, okay? Um, the other thing is, too, we, we only have violins on Zoom. I didn't teach cello, so the cello players and the viola players over here, they, they didn't learn way back then. They learned in the middle of uh, last year, and then uh, we didn't have any bass players at all. Bass player, raise your hand. He's not a middle schooler. Um, I think he might be able to tell that. Uh, he's he's a, an old friend of mine that um, is a bass player. I'm a bass player too. And and he's gonna sub right now and give us some bass sound with the orchestra. And um, yeah, cool. I'll, I'll let you guys guess, y'all guess the name of this song, right? Baton goes up, get quiet. When it goes down, clap away. All right, here we go. When it goes up, it goes down. So we're doing a little seat change here because uh, I'd go into that, but it's complicated. Okay, but uh, our next selection here is a, it's a Purcell song, uh, Henry Purcell. It's a march for this march for strings, and it's kind of an old uh, baroque piece from hundreds of years ago. Um, hope you enjoy. It's called March for Strings.
play one more for you before the band comes up. This is called um, Deck the Hall of the Mountain King. It's, it's a combination of two melodies infused together. Uh, Deck the Halls, Holiday Classic, and Hall of the Mountain King. So Hall of the Mountain King, listen for the melody. Bum, 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 bum. And then there's Deck the Halls with, but it's a minor Deck the Halls. Well, anyway, hope you enjoy. Um, apologies to Edgar Grieg for the fusion of his melody with another melody, but I think it's kind of cool. All right, here we go. In case you heard some dissonance, that was supposed to be there, actually. Anyway, so thank you, and uh, give another round of applause to Great Orchestra. Great job. All right, guys, Dan's gonna play next, and be patient, they'll be up next. You will now play. <laughs> You will now hear the 8th grade band play a brief warm-up, followed by Carol of the Bells, a Ukrainian Christmas carol written by Mykola Leontovich. This piece was inspired by a traditional Ukrainian folk chant. Today is it, an, it is an incredibly popular tune and has been featured in ads and movies and covered countless times.
For the next song, you will hear Shining Moments by Larry Clark. This powerful ballad is meant to invoke the, this feeling of happiness and strength that occur when someone is being their best self. Listen for the melodies and counter melodies as they weave in between the different sections of the band. Be warned, this is a bit of a tearjerker.
This is the part of the uh, concert where I say a few thank yous. Um, thank you all for coming out to support our awesome musicians, and let's give them all a big round of applause. Today, I want to give a few thank yous to all of our student volunteers. Without you, the concert would not run as smoothly. Thank you to Marvin and Sal for their sound advice and technical support. Uh, thank you to Gina Morris last night for helping us raise a thousand dollars. Thank you to the SF Symphony for their instrumental coaching. Thank you to Maya Zambrano who created today's cover art. Maya Zambrano, I don't know where you are, I don't know you, but thank you. Uh, we also have a big thank you to my student teacher, Christian Fierro. He's the uh, adult male who's been on the stage the whole time and is not a middle schooler, so big round of applause for Chris Fierro. I want to give a really big thank you to all of our marina administration who are uh, scattered around the room and staff thank you for supporting our wonderful music program and helping it grow we have one more song for you which will be announced shortly uh, after the last song make sure to uh, stay seated and listen for uh, instructions from one of our administrators who will give you a uh, instructions on how to leave. So here is our last song, and here is Caroline to announce it. For our final song of the evening, uh, day, concert, sorry, the eighth grade band will play Ferrandol by George Bizet and arranged by Michael Sweeney. This piece was originally written for a play called The Girl from Arles. George Bizet, the composer, did not experience much success during his life until he wrote one of the most famous operas in the world, Carmen. Today we will play Ferrandol, one of his most well-known melodies. Please enjoy this last song and thank you for coming. Oh. 